I'm Danny 702 and welcome to Las Vegas. Today we are staying at the cheapest room here at the Luxor Resort on the fabulous Las Vegas Strip. The Luxor is an iconic resort on the south end of the Las Vegas Strip. I found the cheapest room for tonight at $21 before the fees, which I will go over in a little bit. But we are staying inside of the iconic pyramid, which I have always wanted to do. I've always been curious about it since it's slanted. And I have heard mixed reviews about the rooms here, but being that I've never stayed here and I have yet to stay at the fancier, more expensive resorts on the Las Vegas Strip, I'm gonna be giving you a fresh and a unbiased review of the rooms and just the stay in general. I'm actually really surprised that I've never stayed here at the Luxor. This was one of my favorite resorts in the 90s. The Mirage and the Luxor were definitely up there for me. It definitely looks a lot different than it did back then in the early mid 90s, but it's still themed out. Not as much, but still looks pretty fantastic and I'm super excited about staying here. Now the Luxor does sit on the south, the very south end of the Las Vegas Strip. You'll see Mandalay Bay and on the opposite side we've got the Excalibur. It is a quieter side simply because across the street there is nothing. So down on that corner is Tropicana, which is a very busy part of the Las Vegas Strip. But not to worry because there is a free monorail that will take you from Mandalay Bay to Luxor to the Excalibur and then you can walk and be on the rest of the strip within minutes. That check-in is at 3 p.m. We actually were able to check in through our phone by having the MGM Rewards app but at 1 15 I got a message saying that our room was already ready and I did not pay for early check-in so that was actually really cool really freaking handy to have. You don't even have to stop at the front desk because you can use your phone as a key card. I can come over here and get myself a key without even having to stop at the front desk. All you had to do is go up to the computer. You had a QR code that you can scan from the MGM Rewards app and you just put in a fresh card. It took me, I don't know, five seconds. And you all saw that line. That line is probably about at least a half hour away. We are in one of those incolators, which transports you sideways at a 39 degree angle. Who knew your room would be so thrilling? 15th level, we are room 98. We are in the middle of the hallway, which I requested. I like to be away from the elevators so it has less noise. The atrium is right under us. Everything is right under us, but we also got to check out the room. Oh. Welcome to a Pyramid 2 Queen Bedroom. The slanted wall over there, I feel like gives it a little bit of an effect where maybe the room looks a little bigger than it is, <laughs> but it's actually pretty spacious. It's 420 square foot for this room. Right when you walk in, there is a full length mirror. And then we've got the two queen beds, three pillows on each. The colors are interesting. The deep like orange and the wall is also somewhat iridescent. Kind of, hey, you see that there? <laughs> it looks like tile, but it's just the wallpaper, so that's kind of neat. A desk in the middle of the beds. I do not see a clock. No, no clocks in sight. There's a desk in the middle. Oh, but this is actually a safe. Over here we have another desk if you want to set up your computer or anything like that. And then of course some more chairs, some more seating, a small table in the middle. This is a non-smoking room. I mean, I have always wanted to see what a room looked like here at the Luxor in the pyramid because obviously it's a pyramid shaped hotel. So this is freaking cool. Another somewhat full length mirror here, but this is your closet space. I love how as soon as you open the doors, the light goes on and there's definitely plenty of space. You do have hangers so you can put up your coats or your dresses as well as an iron and ironing board. And then more dresser space. This, I'm pretty sure, yes, used to be where the refrigerator was. You can rent a refrigerator by calling 
guest services. And then the TV, we have a pretty big flat screen TV that sits in the middle of the two beds. There are no USB plugs anywhere, but I just noticed they do have some outlets here all the way by the TV. There are another pair of outlets on both sides of the lamp by the bed. I can't be the only one who loves to see what their view is. So hopefully we're not disappointed. Let's go check out the slanted windows. Let's open it up. Oh, all right, okay. I mean, we have a view of the backside of the Excalibur. Uh, it's a cool view of the Excalibur. That's pretty much the only thing we're seeing. Uh, you can see the towers on both sides of us. So those are the newer rooms. They are a little bigger. Also, of course, just newer. So they are a little bit more pricey than you get in the pyramid room here. Here's a look at the restroom. There is plenty of counter space. A few items, looks like they provide you with some conditioning shampoo, body lotion, and then two things of soap. There is a blow dryer here as well. The mirror is very, very big. A lot of towels for just one night. Uh, there is the toilet, and then here's the shower. The shower is really big. So far, everything looks really clean too. And it does have a rain shower head, which is pretty nice. The room cost me 67 in total. You gotta take all the fees, which obviously tripled that price. So I paid about 67 and some change for the room today. There are times where this same room could be hundreds of dollars. So give or take whenever you hear a price for the hotel rooms here in Las Vegas because they are all over the place. I did put some notes in for the room. I always request a higher room if possible. They did put us on the 15th floor. I think as you keep going up, you're probably gonna get more of the suites, you know, more of the king premier rooms and things like that. So I think we got pretty high. I did request away from the elevator and it was a bit of a walk to get over here, but they accommodated my request there. They do oh. offer the stay well rooms around the Luxor. They also have pet friendly rooms around the Luxor. And of course they have the suites. There are some massive suites, plenty of different choices for your budget, including $67 for a night. Ooh, I just kind of sank into that. I do wish we were in a king, but they are a little bit more than the two queens. So I wanted to show you guys the cheapest room available, which is two queens here. So far, it seems pretty comfortable. Yeah, I'm digging it. But I think being in the pyramid, you are so much more closer to all the activities, the casino, the restaurants, the pool. So we are gonna have to do all of that. I'm pretty excited for what the night and tomorrow has to come for us. I think tomorrow morning we'll do the pool, but tonight we're definitely gonna get some dinner, probably grab a drink or two, maybe check out an attraction, I don't know. It's gonna be a fun night, guys. Let's hit it. I kinda think we're somewhat in the middle of the pyramid. Here is the view down from our room, from our front door, so it looks like there's the food court and then the atrium area. We're staying in the pyramid. We did it. It only took me about 30 years. I think one of the biggest draws of this particular resort is its entertainment. You can stay here probably three or four nights and see a different show every night, go to a different exhibit or attraction every night, and probably grab food from a different restaurant as well. This is the atrium level where they hold most of the exhibits and most of their shows. So you do have Titanic. This is such a cool exhibit. I've been in there maybe two or three times. Bodies is here too. Recently they opened Discovering King Tut's Tomb for shows. They have Carrot Top and Fantasy right here. Fantasy I have seen before. It was actually a lot of fun. And Carrot Top I have been wanting to come see. Unfortunately it's dark tonight. We also have the Blue Man Group. Looks like they are lining up already. That's kind of nice. An early show. A matinee. And they are currently building an arcade which is gonna be like an adult arcade, very similar to Dave and Buster's. It's called Play. I was really hoping that this would be open, but it looks like they are nowhere close to being open. I think it says fall. And if you look straight ahead, you can see that we would enter the Mandalay Bay just by walking through this walkway. So you do not have to go outside to access Mandalay Bay and also the Excalibur. Now, of course, over at Mandalay Bay, there's even more shops, more restaurants, more bars. I think we're actually gonna head over there later tonight because they have quite a few spots inside of the Mandalay Bay that have live music. There's still a very long line to check in. Download the mobile app, I swear that took like 30 seconds. The ultimate souvenir. 
Look at this. This is a drink mug or a, drink, a cup. And I think the very top lights up. All right, I know what we're doing after dinner. They have a happy hour here at Aurora. It kind of looks like they might be setting up for music, even though I didn't see that. For, no, it's it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the live entertainment. But they still have happy hour. $5 draft beers and $5 well cocktails. Okay, we gotta eat and then run over and grab a drink. Five to seven. All right, let's talk about dining. You do have a few options for food here, including Diablo's Cantina, Tender Steakhouse. There is a food court with a quite a few options. And yes, they are one of the few remaining resorts in Las Vegas that still has a buffet. They also have a cafe and a few other quick grabs like a Starbucks and a frozen yogurt spot. Now for tonight, we are going to get dinner over here at Public House. I actually got a rewards, a redeemed reward on the My Vegas app where I would get $20 after spending 40. Definitely American classics, burger, sandwiches, ribs look amazing. They've got some sort of a hamburger challenge. Uh, they got salads, soups, and chicken wings, sports bar atmosphere. The game going on in the background is pretty loud. They also have a bar behind us. There's a pretty long line to get in. We got here probably 20 minutes before five and then sat about 5.05. You can make reservations too. Now I got the standard, which was basically a pretty basic cheeseburger with onions on the side, caramel onions. So you got the... Mushroom Swiss. Mushroom Swiss. That looks really good also. Some fries on the side. And we are ready to dig in. Yeah, man, that's a decent looking hamburger there. Classic designer hamburger. Very good. Yeah, it's charred really nice. There's this nice crunch to it. Rio bun. Excellent. On the My Vegas app, which is a slot game application for your phone that you can download and play for free but you redeem your points your free points for real items in las vegas so one of the items that i was able to grab was twenty dollars worth of money here at public house if you spend 40. so for the two of us this was definitely going to be maybe 43 dollars uh, so i'll have twenty dollars off it's basically a two for one entree. So it is happy hour here at Aurora from five to seven. I got a tequila sunrise. It's been my go-to lately. I will eventually switch to whiskey again once it starts to get a little cooler out. So the drinks were only $5 each. $5 well drinks and $5 drives. When we walked in, there actually was somebody playing live music for happy hour on a Thursday. I want to head up and get some dessert. I think I'm going to go over to Diablo's because they had a few items on their menu, their dessert menu, that sounded so good. The Bluellos. Oh my god, I saw that earlier and I just had to come back for it. Bluellos with ice cream and caramel sauce. It definitely looks a lot different than what I'm used to. I usually very big, like tortilla size. It's covered with like cinnamon and sugar. And this one comes with ice cream, usually whipped cream too. I'm a big fan of these. My aunt actually makes fantastic bonuelos. I never had it with like berries or a berry sauce. It's, it, it's pretty good. I, I definitely think I'm a little bit um, biased because my family makes really good ones. But the ice cream too, that's hitting the spot a bit. This is the walkway over to Mandalay Bay with a couple different shops. 1923 is a speakeasy prohibition bar. You also have minus five. And then right down here, you enter Mandalay Bay. So we had three different spots for free music here at Mandalay Bay. Over at Hazel, they have a guy playing a guitar. A lot more of a chill vibe. In the middle, there is a bar called Eye Candy, which had a DJ playing. There's some people on the dance floor. There's a little bit more of a club vibe. They also have a nightclub up there's the foundation room that's like a rooftop bar and then they have house of blues which normally has live music of course i was just over at the house of blues a couple of days ago i went and saw a tray that was a really good show yeah, it's like the band is setting up over here at rhythm and wrist so the band ended up being really good they were playing a mix of everything they had a lot of rock music some 80s they were doing a whole lot of requests so we enjoyed that for a little while it was funny because we we're getting really tired <laughs> You might even hear it in my voice. And we were noticing as we were leaving, so many more people were coming in. We're like, oh my gosh, it's so late. Well, that's a bit of a frightening sight first thing in the morning. 
I haven't even had my coffee yet. So we came down to the food court. We're gonna do Johnny Rockets. They have a breakfast menu instead of doing the cafes. It's a little slightly cheaper. I mean, a breakfast sandwich is still gonna run you about 10 bucks. They also have Randy's Donuts in here. Our breakfast comes with pancakes though, so I'll be good as far as the desserts go. So this is the American breakfast that we got. Not too shabby for $16.99. You get three, no, two pancakes, but they're pretty fluffy and thick. And then you get a biscuit, sausage, a gosh, that's probably three eggs at least, and then a whole lot of hash browns. We also got two coffees. And then we got this nice view of the backside of the Excalibur this morning. Full time, my favorite time. One of my favorite things about staying at the resorts. I have heard that the Luxor pool has one of the largest pool decks in Las Vegas. You can reserve seating, but they do have a lot of chairs around. I'm seeing a lot of open chairs too. This looks like a couple of their pools are open. Over here on the left, I see a spa, more seating. There is a bar, the Oasis bar. I think over there, let's see if I can zoom in. Is some sort of a DJ booth. Well, you can do mobile ordering. So you scan the chair so they know where you're at. You can pull up the menu and order even drinks, it says. This side seems to be a little bit more lively, the side where the DJ is, even though there's no DJ playing right now. The music's a little louder. There is a cocktail we just rocking around over here. They do really like these day beds here. And you get a little bit of shade, but I just like the view. How cool is that? And this is a pretty large pool deck, but I think about half of it's closed. So it does go around this building. There's some on the other side there too. But enough of it is open. You can see there's plenty of space, plenty of seating. We found chairs right away. But this whole area is closed. I would have no idea if they open it, maybe for busy weekends, you know, Labor Day weekends, something like that. But it does swing all the way around this way. I mean, nothing too special. It's a very large area. I like seeing the pyramid in the background. I do like these little blocks in the middle of the pool that this lady's laying on. How much do you wish that you could get in a tube and go down this thing? It says no diving or no climbing. However, it doesn't say no sliding. So I guess you gotta climb up it to get up there though. They have these little blocks in the middle of the pool and you can sit here or you can even sit on top. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, put your drinks on there. I like that the music isn't blasting loud right now. I really like the view of the pyramid right behind us. And the weather is just perfect right now. I think it's about 93 degrees. We're almost to the end of pool season too. Coming up on fall already, but it feels really nice. It's been a nice day. I enjoyed the Luxor a lot. Actually, I would definitely recommend it for a budget-friendly, clean, comfortable, quiet room. Let me know if you guys have ever stayed here. What'd you think of it? How'd you like the towers instead of the pyramid? Maybe we'll try that next time. Time for the nitty gritty. How was the actual stay? How was the night? I thought the bed was really nice. I didn't feel every time Eddie moved or anything. It wasn't super bouncy. I slept fine. I didn't hear any noise actually at all. I did have the constant fan going like I normally do, but I didn't hear any noise. The only complaint I think I would have to say were the blankets. I got really cold a lot of the times during the night because the blankets are very thin. So there was kind of a little bit of back and forth trying to find a good temperature, but that would be the only complaint that I have. Also, all of the staff that we came across, even just walking the halls have been really helpful and really friendly. It doesn't have the luxury of all the top notch resorts out there, but if you want to experience Vegas without breaking the bank, I think that the Luxor was a really good option. Thanks for joining me today please hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe for more adventures in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas and we will catch you in the next one. Peace!